I'm sure you've seen the headlines. Here are the details behind it. If you're in the market for a new EV, now might be the best time to purchase a Tesla, especially the Model Y. Earlier this month, they reduced prices by up to 20%, 30% including EV tax credits, which is amazing. That's why it just shook up the entire automotive industry, all in order to help vehicles qualify for federal tax credits, but also to increase demand as they ramp up their factory. So want a Tesla? Now's the best time. These reduced prices may not last that long because of a current loophole in the federal EV tax credit, which allows all vehicles meeting a price threshold to qualify for the full $7,500 rebate. In March, many vehicles, including Tesla, may not qualify for the full credit once battery sourcing requirements take effect. Therefore, there's a good chance Tesla may increase prices or the federal tax rebate may be reduced. So earlier in January, Tesla cut the price of the Model Y long range from 66 grand down to $53,000, 13 grand less. And when you include that $7,500 tax credit the Model Y now qualifies for, you're looking at a 30% discount off MSRP compared to just a month ago. Here are the new Tesla discounts. Looking at the Model 3 rear-wheel drive, the old price right there, 47, now 44. There's your discount, $3,000. Discount with tax credit, 22% off. Then you have the Model 3 Performance. There are the numbers there. $9,000 total discount, 26% discount with a tax credit. The Model Y Long Range, 12.5 is the total discount. Model Y Performance, 13 grand. Isn't that incredible? I've personally owned a Model 3 now for two years. We're looking to upgrade to the Model Y because of our growing family. They are an amazing vehicle. We've had no issues with them whatsoever. Zero maintenance issues. The vehicle software and user interface is one of the best on the market. Autopilot is pretty good too. They got so many upgrades that just automatically work with your app. And I've driven other EVs as well. And this one is by far the easiest to work with. Not only is a vehicle easy to work with, you don't have to deal with a dealership. You order these online, which is kind of an interesting concept, right? At least when it first came out. But now it's becoming more comfortable for people just to order their vehicles online. I'm, I'm sure people would prefer that if they had that choice, but they don't because of laws. And now with the reduced prices, there's really no reason to consider the competitors. In my opinion, those prices that I just mentioned, now is a good time to buy a Tesla. Low supply, high demand, the phrase you don't want to hear when shopping for a new car. I've got a database of the average prices paid for a new vehicle. And for many of these, if you wait just a few months, you might save upwards of $2,000 or more, especially now that manufacturers had to cut back on production due to supply issues. By the way, not all of these prices will drop, but right now, these are the ones you want to avoid because they are way overpriced, way above the MSRP. First, you need to avoid the following three Ford vehicles, the 2023 F250 and the F350. Those are both $7,000 above MSRP. Looking at the F250 at 98 grand, the 350 over $100,000. The Ford Edge 2023 is $3,500 above the MSRP right now. Again, low supply, high demand. As attractive as a 2023 Toyota RAV4 Prime is, right now, almost $2,500 above MSRP. The average price paid right now for that vehicle is $43,675. That's 5.5% over MSRP. Here are three Kias you should avoid, at least in the short term, because these are between 4 and 5% over MSRP on average of what people pay. 2023 Kia Sorento, $51,315 on average of what people are paying, which is $2,300 above sticker price. The 2023 Kia Sportage, they're paying $1,400 above sticker price at a price of $32,500. And then you have the Telluride, very popular, but still, they are pricing that 4% over MSRP. You'll pay an extra two grand for a 2023 Kia Telluride. Still 49 grand on average is what people are paying for that. A very similar story with Volvo. I've got four of them that are 4.5% over MSRP right now. So people are paying between 24 and $3,000 above sticker. 2023 V90 cross country, the average price paid on one of those, 65 grand. The S 90 recharge 71.5 the v60 recharge 71.6 and the volvo s90 58 thousand dollars on average is what people are paying for those again four percent over msrp four percent over the sticker price there are no deals to be had right here 
I've got six more I want to tell you about. They're not bad in terms of price, but they still are over MSRP, but they're economically uh, priced for most people. And they are the following. 2023 Honda Civic. On average, people are paying just over 26 grand, but still $1,000 over a sticker. So if you're willing to eat 1,000, then that might be a good deal. Also 2023 Kia Celtis. Uh, people are paying 24-7, so $900 above sticker. Not a, not a bad deal considering what people are paying over sticker. Then you got the HRV. These are all 2023. HRV, uh, 28.7 is what people are paying. That's $850 over sticker. The Honda CRV, 2023, uh, $35,700, $1,000 over sticker. Again, you're still paying over, but if the supply is not there, you got to deal with what you got. And last but not least, the 2023 Chevrolet Bolt. They're paying $27,500 for that $700 over MSRP sticker. If you want to compete for prices and supply in your area, check out quotes.everymandriver.com. It's a free search engine. Uh, check out the make, model, and zip code of the vehicle you're looking for. And qualified dealers who are selling those will pop up. Just work with those. And if you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code, expand your zip code and be willing to travel a few miles, hopefully to save a few bucks. But right now, because of supply and demand, this is the best you can find on those particular vehicles. Good luck with your shopping. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.